Hello everyone, welcome to another weather update for Punta Gorda, Florida. The time is 3.30 p.m. and the conditions at the Shelley County Airport, KPGD, are fair with a temperature of 70 degrees Fahrenheit and humidity of 71%. The wind speed is west at 13 miles per hour and the barometer is 29.96 inches of mercury or 1014.4 millibars pressure. The dew point is 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the visibility is 10 miles, so there is clear visibility in our area. The last update was at January 28th at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For this afternoon, partly cloudy conditions, excuse me, partly sunny conditions are expected with a high of 71 degrees Fahrenheit. But as we get into tonight, uh, the, the chance of rain will increase slightly and we'll have breezy conditions as the uh, cold front comes through, with the low of 45 degrees Fahrenheit expected for tonight. As a matter of fact, we have a high surf advisory um, expected from January 29th at 1 a.m. at Saturday uh, until uh, Sunday, January 30th at 1 a.m. So during that time, uh, high winds are expected to uh, kick up some waves in the Gulf. So you might want to be careful when you uh, head out into the boat, or if you are planning on going to the beach. Although most people might not be uh, planning on going to the beach when you have a uh, low of 31 degrees Fahrenheit expected for Saturday night, and a high of 55 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. Uh, sunny and windy conditions are expected on Saturday, transition to mostly clear conditions for Saturday night. For Sunday, uh, sunny conditions are expected with a high of 57 degrees Fahrenheit as the cold air mass starts to settle into our area. But for Sunday night, will be another cold one for us, uh, with clear conditions and a low of 36 degrees Fahrenheit. So a few degrees warmer than Saturday night, but will still be pretty cold. You might see some frost on, the, on your windshields as you head out for work on uh, Sunday morning and yeah, Monday morning, as we've uh, seen uh, dip during the previous uh, weekend with the previous cold fronts, which also brought low temperatures to our area. But for Monday, sunny conditions are expected with a high of 67 degrees Fahrenheit, so we're expected to warm back up again as the uh, cold air mass leaves our area. For Monday night, partly cloudy conditions are expected with a low of 47 degrees Fahrenheit. And for Tuesday, mostly sunny conditions are expected with a high of 74 degrees Fahrenheit. So as I said before, it will be a cold weekend for us tonight, so you might want to bundle up as you head out. Here we have the infrared satellite loop of the United States, which shows the cold front coming towards us. You'll notice that there aren't any thunderstorms developing off the cold fronts, and that's indicated by the uh, low cloud tops, uh, the reds and the greens and blues, excuse me. However, um, we do have the uh, chance of rain showers and cold conditions this weekend, as I previously mentioned. Let's look at the, uh, vis the true color satellite imagery, and you'll see the bright colors that indicate uh, cloudy conditions over northern Florida as the uh, cold front is uh, approaching. And this, the, uh, clear, the clear conditions uh, are indicated by the lack of cloud cover behind the cold fronts. Let's look at the water vapor imagery. And the darker colors are where you'll notice the really cold and dry air, which is uh, heading towards Florida. And that is, is expected to uh, cause uh, clear conditions to develop over uh, Sunday and into Monday. Let's look at the uh, forecast models because we have a uh, low pressure system which has been named Winter Storm Keenan. And Winter Storm Keenan is expected to uh, move uh, northeast into this weekend and strengthen. As a matter of fact, uh, blizzard conditions are expected to develop uh, off the northeast, particularly in uh, New England, as the uh, system dumps large amounts of uh, snow and causes uh, ice to develop and wreaks havoc in travel. Thousands of flights are expected to be uh, cancelled in the northeast as the system moves through. It's expected to access the area by a Sunday morning, um, leaving behind uh, large amounts of uh, snow and ice. If you are planning on traveling this weekend, I recommend not traveling unless uh, absolutely necessary. And as always, please consult the National Weather Service for our latest updates on the track and intensity of the system. According to our Storm Prediction Center website, there are no severe thunderstorms forecast over the next three days. And that includes the time that the cold front is uh, heading towards Florida. Let's look at the uh, watches in effect, and you'll see that there are no uh, severe thunderstorms or tornado watches or warnings in effect anywhere across the country. There are no areas of interest or medical discussions, and there are no uh, high wind reports or high large hail reports anywhere in the country right now. Thanks for watching, and hope you enjoy this weather update.